In the second part of our Astro Crash Course, we're going to take a look how we could set up our pages or routes in Astro. We're going to create one for home page, about page, and blog page. We're also going to talk about layouts and how we could have a layout that we could use on multiple pages. And by the end of this video, what we want to do, at least try to, is to achieve our top navigation, our hero section, which is going to have our hero section and our features. Then we want to have an about us page, which is going to have this card and then we're going to have our blog page which is going to have this blog basic layout and all of this is going to start as static html which will take a look how we could add dynamic data to it as we continue with these lessons so open up your code editor and let's jump right into it so I just opened up my project in VS Code. If we take a look at our pages, we just have this basic index.astro file, which is our home page. In our home page, we are defining our HTML templating with our content. We do have a button. And in the previous lesson, we talked about the front matter, which runs on build time where you're able to add JavaScript, but then it will be stripped away once everything built, but you will be able to get the use of that data. We also talked about how to style your application within style tags, and we did add Tailwind, which is awesome. And more importantly, if you wanted client-side JavaScript, you could write vanilla JavaScript between the script tags. And if you take a look at our application, this is what we have so far, not cool at all, but that's a start. If we click the button, we at least know our JavaScript works. So the goal today is we're going to talk about creating our additional pages, about page, our blog page, and we're going to add this static uh, HTML, which I will provide all the code snippets and go from there. In our code editor, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to rename this to example. So we keep it here and I'm going to go ahead, just copy all of this right now to make my life easier and create a new file called index.astro. And I'm going to go ahead, paste that in. And for now, I'm going to remove all of this and remove this. And I'm just going to call this our home page. And we're going to just keep the styling and the script tag blank. My project is running. So if I refresh here, we could see our home page. Here's an interesting thing. If I go to example, you're going to see our old example page. So that's basically how routing works. It uses file-based routing. So whatever name you give here, that Astro will be the route name. And there's two ways to do it. You could either keep it inline file like so. For instance, if I want to create a new page, I could say about dot Astro. And I'm going to just paste in that basic uh, template here. And we're going to say about page. And you could also create a page by creating a folder and let's say we'll call it blog and we'll keep both examples and inside here we're going to create a new file called index.astro and I'm going to paste my snippet here and I'm going to say blog page and so now we have our routes we have our home page we have our about page and we have our blog page so let's take a look so if I go to the root of the project, we have our homepage. If I type about, we have our about page. And if I type blog, we have our blog page. Perfect. So to recap, the way you create routes is inside your pages folder. You will either add the names of the file and these files would be your routes. Or if you wanted to use a folder, you would use the folder name. And inside there, you would put your index astro file, which is pretty cool. So now let's set up our HTML for our index page. So navigate to your index page, you will see our previous code and we're gonna go ahead and copy the code snippet and paste it in. Here's our basic HTML. Because this is not HTML and Tailwind class, I'm not gonna go too much in detail, but I will explain the code as we go along. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're trying to figure out where to find the code snippets that I'm using, you could navigate to codingafter30.com. This is a completely free website. You don't even have to sign up, but in order to view the courses, you do have to sign in. I do have a dummy account for you if you don't want to sign up. Uh, basically, by signing up, you're able to just track the courses that you saved to your like courses, but you could just use this free account once you sign in you will be able to select the course. This video is gonna be part of the Astro Crash course. Click on view course. 
And when you select a course right here on the right, you will see all the code snippets available to you. Now, because I'm recording this video, I haven't added the code snippets here, but this is where you're going to be able to find it. Back to the tutorial. Looking through our code here, we set our HTML head where we have our some basic information here. Let's call this homepage. And right now everything is gonna be hard coded, but we'll get back to this to see how we could use variables and make this dynamic on build time. And our sections, we have our top navigation, we have our hero section, and we have our feature section. Feel free to explore the HTML on your own, but if we navigate back to our index page, you will see our top navigation, you will see our hero section and our feature section. Taking a look in our navigation section, you see that we're just using an anchor tag and we're passing the path to where we wanna redirect via the href attribute. So if you click on home, we'll go back to root. If you click on about, we go back to about. If you click on blog, we are going to be redirected to the blog page. So now I'm gonna navigate to our about and I'm gonna replace the old code with our snippet for the about page. This again includes our HTML head, our body, our navigation, and our new about section, which has basic data and a link to our Twitter. So now if I navigate to about, you're gonna see this about card. And finally, let's go ahead and add the code snippet to our blog post. Navigating back to our blog page, I'm going to again replace with the code snippets for this section. And again, as we scroll to the top, we're gonna to see that again, we're setting the HTML, we have the head, and we are repeating ourselves a little bit, which we'll talk about in just a moment. And let me just rename this to blog page. And I think I forgot to do the same thing in the about page and rename it here as well. So now we are able to navigate to our blog page and see our basic blog and notice how the title of our page changes. If we go to about, it says about page here on the top left. If we say home, it says home page. So now we have our basic HTML. We have our home page, about page and blog page, which is amazing. The one issue that I wanna highlight is that we are constantly repeating ourselves by having a header, and then we have our top navigation and that has to show up on all the pages. For instance, we have it in our index page, we have it in our about page and we have it in our blog page. So in the next video, we're going to talk about this concept of components and we're going to build out a main layout component and maybe take a look what other items in our code that are repeatable we could break up into components. But we're gonna cover that in the next video. So give yourself a big, nice round of applause. We made some progress to recap. We took a look how to set up routes in Astro and how we could use JSX-like syntax, which very closely resembles HTML with some minor differences that we'll take a look in the next video. But what's awesome, you're able to find a cool template. In our case, we found a template that uses Tailwind and apply it directly to your project, or you could write the HTML and CSS yourself, which is pretty cool. And again, congrats, we have our amazing homepage, about page and blog page. But with that being said, I will see you all in the next video.